Hey everybody. Hey everyone. Thanks for joining. Hi Sia. Hi Maria. Hey Mina. Hey Cheryl. Thanks everybody for coming in and joining. Just getting my stage going here. It's gonna be a fantastic October reading. Awesome, I'm glad you're able to join. I haven't done too, too many, so you haven't missed too many, okay? Hey, thanks for joining, Mina. Okay. So, the subject that we're gonna look at today for everybody, and I think it's only fitting with, you know, Halloween, just around the corner. I think it's only fitting that for the group today that we focus on shadow work, right? It's definitely really appropriate. And for anybody who doesn't know what shadow work is all about, really at the end of the day, um, it's really going deep, right? It's going into the deep, emotional hurts, the deep mental hurts, all of the stuff that, you know, you really stuff to the back of your mind and stuff to the back of your heart and choose not to look at, well, that's shadow work. Going in and doing the stuff you really, really, really don't want to do and then looking at the stuff that's behind that, okay? That's definitely shadow work. And I don't know if any of you have also noticed that within the last couple of weeks, especially this last week or so, um, Ascension energies have been running high. So what does this mean? Um, you know, talking about shadow work, a lot of your shadows might be triggered, right? So what does that mean? Um, relationship hurts from the past are coming up for you again. You're revisiting some of the stuff that you thought you were healed from. You're revisiting things that you were already pushing to the back, right? Hey there, thanks for joining. Um, so yeah, that's, that's really what has been going on. And so if you haven't noticed that happening to you or around you, I wouldn't be surprised. Okay. Wouldn't be surprised if you're seeing this kind of stuff happening. So I'm just going to say a quick prayer here for everyone while I'm getting my sage going. Prayer of intention to our great creator and great spirit to ensure that all messages offered today are in our best good. And we ask for clear messages and guidance, direction and blessings. In the name of the highest good of all, amen. Okay, my friends. So just in case you've never joined me in a group reading, a group reading is gonna be a general type reading. So what does that mean? The messages may or may not resonate for you. If they don't resonate for you, that's okay. Please free, please feel free to stick around. If they don't resonate, that's okay. All good, friends. So, um, like again, if you haven't been to one of my live readings, what I do is I start with a live reading for everybody that's general. Hey there, thanks for joining. And uh, then what I'm gonna do is take personal questions. All right, so stick around for that. After our beautiful sage, I'm gonna have a sweet glass going too. Hmm. Okay, good stuff. I'm just gonna keep this going, keep it burning, okay? All right. All right, friends. So, as I said, for any of you who didn't hear at the beginning, the subject today for all of our group healing, healing, you know, it's funny. I didn't even intend to say that, but it just came out. For all of the group work that needs to be done, I'm gonna say shadow work. That's what our group uh, reading is gonna be focused on today. And for anyone who doesn't know what shadow work is, shadow work is that deep, dark, hurting type stuff again, right? All right. Hey, DJ Sparkles. Hey, Fee. Thanks for coming. Okay, friends. So let's start the group reading. Um, 
Yeah, I think I need to go over here first. Okay, um, Spirit, is there any messages for everybody who's on the video today and anyone who might be watching in the replay that is in their best good for all of our shadow work? What do we need to know in our best good? Okay. Um, I am getting a message just in general and you know this makes sense and it might sound simple and sometimes some of the best messages are the simplest messages and it really is go within okay because again this shadow work as much as there's stuff going on around you that's triggering you you know this person's making you angry this job is making you frustrated all the you know the, those sorts of things at the end of the day the triggers are within you why are you being upset by those things so the things that are happening around you are just examples of things to get your fire going and and irritate you and push your buttons why because you got a problem about that stuff in here something is not sitting right in here with you this is just examples to help you figure it out okay all right so that's just the message before we even get going all right we're gonna call on Archangel Raphael right now for assistance what's the theme today Ooh, yeah going with our theme shadow work what does everybody need to know in their best good and what is the theme here that we can work with for everybody to help everyone move on, to help everybody get past these barriers? I think we need to do four more. Just four more. Oh, cards are already jumping out. Oh, yep, okay. All right. All right, definitely. <laughs> yeah, okay. These cards are definitely for us, my friends. And we talked about shadow work, going in, all that kind of stuff, right? Release. Okay, I hope you can see that with the lights. Release. Okay? And why are we doing shadow work? Well, number one, the whole point of shadow work is releasing, right? Releasing that information, releasing those hurts, whatever it is that you got going on, release it. Because if you want to be able to go the distance and live your life in a happy, positive way that's motivating for you and that gets you to where you want to be, you can't do it carrying a 500 pound backpack of hurts and baggage, right? You can't. You have to release it. You have to let that go, right? Absolutely. That's the theme for shadow work because the shadow work is what's inside of us all and only you can release it. No one out there can do it for you. There's examples out there of people triggering you, but it's so that you do this, okay? Nothing out there is going to fix what you've got going on in here, friends. So hop to, okay? The time is now. Get it going, all right? Now, another really interesting card that's just kind of jumped out here, Power Animal. Now, this may not resonate with everybody, okay? However, for some people who may not have been interested in power animals before, I have the feeling that some of you are feeling connected to this energy now, whether you have, you know, again, never been interested in the spirit of hawk or eagle energy or bear energy, whatever that is, okay? I feel like this is gonna be jumping out for some of you. And for some of you who already do work with your power animals, Now's the time, okay? Call on all the resources that you can within your spiritual capacity to assist you in releasing these blockages and so you can move forward. And in fact, when I think about power animal information, lately I've been doing a lot of shamanic work myself in terms of um, inner work and shamanic journey and going in and let's just say um, soul retrieval type pieces, okay? And so many of our power animals assist us through those processes when we do that shamanic work and when we go within. So going with the theme of what we're looking at of going in and going within and doing this work for yourself, then don't be afraid for all of you who've never tried. Don't be afraid to call upon your spirit animal or call upon this spirit of lion, uh, whatever it is that resonates with you. Okay. Absolutely. This makes a lot of sense for me. Okay. What else do we need to know? Cause that's just the theme, right? And it totally makes sense. Makes sense to everybody why those cards came out. Let me know. And just to anybody um, who hasn't seen me again, or if you're interested in a personal reading, please feel free to just send me a message, right? I'll help you out. Or you can go to my website, kellyfergusonreadings.com. You can easily reach me, okay? That way we can do more personal reading rather than a group reading. Oh, if that's what you're interested in. Okay, so I already had a card jump out of the deck, but I feel like there's more messages here for us too, okay? What's this message? Ooh, yeah. Mountain and strength. 
This is totally for us, okay? And this is the theme of what we're gonna need in order to release this stuff. Because if you wanna go in and do that deep work that we're talking about, it's not for the faint of heart, friends. And you know, at the end of the day, if I'm being completely honest, that's why not everybody heals. That's why not everybody is gonna move forward. Because a lot of people are gonna get to that hard work that they need to do where it starts to get, you know, really deep and you get really emotional. And then you're just gonna be like, mm, I'm out. Okay, I'm out, I, I don't wanna do it, I'm just gonna, you know. Sometimes ignorance is bliss, we'll say for some, all right? But friends, now is the time, really. It's time to let go of this stuff, okay? If you wanna move forward, like I said, you're the only one that can move those mountains for you. You have to be the mountain, okay? All right, so what has been going on for all of our friends, okay, to kind of put this in perspective with, uh, with what's happening here, okay? Shadow work, what's been happening? What's been happening for everybody? What do we need to know here in our best good? What do we need? What do we need to know? What do we need to know? Wow, my cards are so sticky. Wow, this is not like my cards. It's like funky energy. Okay, but that doesn't surprise me. Look at what time of year it is, right? Whoa. Yep. All right. Okay. A lot of cards coming out actually. So dream time and creation is showing up for me, okay? Along with another card that kind of complements that. So when we're talking about, you know, the stuff that we've been dealing with and everything like that with our shadow work in the past, moving up to today. Hey, Jen. Hey, Nina, thanks for coming. So working in the past and moving forward to today, okay? Dream time and creation. So what this means for me with all of our shadow work that we've been doing, like I talked about, in the past, a lot of us have already been kind of thinking about this stuff. We've already thought about, okay, you know when you kind of feel like the mercury rising, we'll say, like you, you know, you think, okay, this, this thing's been kind of like, um, something's been bothering me for a really long time. Let's just say, this is just an example, okay? Let's just say you had um, a bad relationship with your, your mother, okay? And you've been thinking about it, thinking about it, and you know you've had to deal with it for some time and you haven't dealt with it and all that kind of stuff. So this is telling me that these deep wounds that we have in these shadow pieces that we talked about, you've already started to think about them in ways that you haven't thought about them in the last little while, okay? So already the universe is pushing you to start looking at this information. So I bet you this makes sense to a lot of you already, even though you may want to admit it, okay? Don't admit it, that's fine, okay? But it's showing up, dream time and creation. It's the way it is, okay, my friends? You know what else showed up about that? Fire and passion. Okay, so what does this tell me when these two cards jump out together? Fire and passion, dream time creation, all right? Two things. You know how I did a post a little while ago, I don't know if you saw it, about being a phoenix and rising from the ashes? Sometimes you have to bring the heat to yourself, my friends, okay? If you wanna be able to move forward and like, you know, you're thinking about doing this kind of stuff and you know you need to deal with it, kind of makes you mad sometimes or it gets you frustrated and gets you all worked up emotionally when you think about taking charge of those sort of items, okay? I really think that the universe is pushing a lot of your buttons right now, forcing you to deal with these things. It's making you uncomfortable in your own skin, okay? Because you're getting pissed off, okay? <laughs> and it's okay, it's okay to be pissed off, right? There's nothing wrong with that, but the point is, what are you doing about it? It doesn't mean you have to go and yell and scream in somebody's face. But if you're holding all of this fire energy, okay, we need to do something with it or else you're just gonna burn up inside, right? What we need to do is use this in a constructive way, right? Not necessarily just to destroy what hasn't been going on for you and what hasn't been working, but think about fire in terms of our medicine wheel. Fire is in the east direction, okay? What's happening in the east direction? New things, new beginnings, new ideas, okay? Moving on from the old and starting the new, and that's all about the element of fire as well, okay? So use your fire to start what you need to do to get rid of this stuff that you've been holding on, okay, that you've already been thinking about, and use it to your best good for transformational type energy to get rid of it and move forward. And that's where we're at right now. We're in the west direction. It's all about alchemy. It's all about looking at what have we got on our plate now based on the things that we've been working on and doing and thinking about for the last little while, and what have we got in our hands. If we're not happy with it, friends, burn it up. It's time to do something about it, okay? Otherwise, it ain't going nowhere. All right, does this make sense to everybody? Let me know if it does. Oh, yeah. Okay, so.
So cards are just jumping out. I don't even have to pull them. Where are we at right now for everybody? Clouds and shape shifting. It's funny, cards are jumping out in twos now, okay? Clouds and shape shifting. So now that we know that we've been thinking about doing stuff and it's really starting to burn us up, what do you gotta do about it? Clouds and shape shifting. It's time to actually change your behavior and do something different so that you get the results that you want to get, okay? Think about even the elements here. Fire and then add the wind. What's gonna happen? Burn it up like we talked about, right? But it's burning up the stuff that's not working for us and burning up the stuff that's not a part of you, okay? Get rid of it, don't carry that anymore, okay? Clouds and shape shifting, definitely an amazing card to pull out right now. And as I said, these cards are jumping out in twos. What's coming out with clouds and shape shifting and what is the whole theme of today? Shadow work, shaman, ancient healing wisdom, right? And I even talked about doing shamanic journeying even earlier in this video, right? So definitely spirit is coming forward and validating everything that we've been talking about and all the messages that have been coming forward just like that, okay? Any other message with regards to shaman? Shaman and ancient healing wisdom. We need more here. What's going on here? Um, okay. Um, now, this isn't going to be specific for everybody, but I feel this is going to resonate for a couple of people here that need to hear this. Um, there, uh, for some of you, this message specifically is surrounding your career and surrounding the toxic environment that you're in right now, okay? Um... Yeah, definitely. And I feel like in terms of dream time and creation and stuff like that, I feel like you, let's just say, um, you know when, the, when a glass ceiling exists in an organization? With dream time and creation, for all of you people who resonates with career, okay? Dream time and creation is kind of like you've been giving great ideas at work and you've been pushing hard and doing this and motivating and working late or whatever that looks like for you and you're not being heard and you're not being valued and you're not getting the acknowledgement for all the time and effort that you've been putting in okay and then what you have done as a result is you've lost your momentum and you've lost your steam and everything like that because you've been working so hard at it for quite some time and now all of a sudden you're like well i'm going to change it up then right because if they're not gonna make me feel better about the work that I'm doing, then I'm gonna have to focus on healing myself, okay? So if that was for you, I hope that makes sense, okay? But definitely that was coming through for at least a couple of you there, all right? All right. What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen if we do that, sh that healing work? Hang on, hang on, what else do we need to know? Hang on, something else though. Whoa, okay. Like I said, cards are jumping out in twos, right? <laughs> okay, I have the feeling that this is about advice, okay? Advice and what we need to do, kind of like a heads up for us, okay? Because this is really interesting how other cards and energies are coming out today. Wow, huge, okay. So, Desert and Vision Quest. So, what we're talking about here is so interesting that this comes after the Shaman, right? A Vision Quest, just saying, okay? So I'm not gonna go too deep on terms of vision quest and the history all therein, but friends, it truly is time to go within. Whether for you that means meditation or if it means going for a walk and clearing your mind and all that stuff, it is really important for you to go in and do that shadow work, okay? And look at the card that jumped out with it. Volcano and volatility. If you don't let this stuff out, you're gonna continue to go into a cycle that is gonna continue to burn you up. Didn't we talk about fire? Again, showing up, friends. Look at this card closely, okay? Think about this card like the elephant in the room, right? And eventually this volcano is gonna go, right? But look at the smoke. See the faces kissing in the smoke? As Soon as we have an explosion, oh, and then it's not too bad before the dust settles and then we kiss and make up again. This can have a lot of relevance in all sorts of ways, okay? So what this means, if it's not romantic specifically, what this means for you is you go into a cycle, okay? You don't need to go into this cycle. The whole point of doing all of this shadow work and getting rid of it is to be rid of it and not carry it forward anymore, okay? So don't start the cycle. It can be a vicious cycle because ego energy feels good when you go, you're wrong and I'm right and you need to say sorry and blah, blah, blah. It feels good, right? But it doesn't solve a problem. Hope that makes sense for you guys, okay? Hey there, thanks for joining Pomodoro. Okay, so now, seeing as so many cards are jumping out, but now I'm gonna ask specifically, right? And they... <laughs> It's, I, I said it, I said it already. I don't even have to pull cards. And again, they're jumping out in twos, right? Damn, this is fantastic. 
and this is amazing. Okay, friends, the fire in the wind is absolutely at play here, right? Didn't we talk about it? Fire with the wind element. And then we got fire, and then we got the wind element. So, so true that repeating patterns have happened for you guys. Some of you have already started to try to get out of these hurts, and then you've kind of fallen back into your old ways because you're like, yeah, yeah, I got this, I got this. This doesn't bother me no more. And then boom, right? Back in your face again. Friends, we gotta get rid of this stuff or you're not gonna go the distance, okay? So, wind and activation. What does this mean? None of it's gonna happen unless you hit the go button. You have to be the person who's committed to making the changes and not going through the same cycles that you were before. It can be so tempting to go back into the old cycles because sometimes they feel good. But sometimes what feels good isn't good for you, right? Right. So, what's gonna happen if we actually activate and hit the go button and commit to our healing and our shadow work and not going back into the old cycles that we've been going into? Lotus flower and enfoldment. Notice a trend? This is the first water element that's shown up. And water, look at this water. Calm, loving, stable, beautiful, right? Lotus flowers start to grow in the mud where nobody sees them and then they have to push up right? Push up, push up, push up through the mud, through the water where no one sees them. It's quite a journey, isn't it? Quite a journey. But at the end, you bloom. And let's all remember the perspective here, right? What do we talk about with our shadow work? Only you can do it, right? See the sun? See the hand in the clouds cupping the sun? Friends, it's all in your hands. You are the only one that can do this work, like we talked about in the very beginning. So Spirit's absolutely validating all of the things that we've talked about today. It's gonna be a long journey, or it has already started to be a journey for some of you guys, but my friend, you were on the right path. If you make sure you don't get stuck in these patterns and go cycling in at the beginning again, you're gonna start a new pattern, you're gonna have the sunrise on the horizon, and you're gonna bloom, my friends. What a great message. Love that message. And I think it's so relevant to what's going on right now. Does this make sense for anybody? Tell me what you think, guys. Does this make sense for you? Is this working for your shadow work? All right. Now, what are we gonna do? I think I'm gonna start. Okay, we're gonna do one more thing. Oh, all right. Fire and passion just because we could use a reminder, right? Okay. I think we're gonna have one more angel message here because I feel like there's something that needs, ooh, I'm gonna cut the cards. Ooh, yeah, I just cut the cards on a deck, okay? With tarot, four of swords. Okay, sometimes there's a time to put these thoughts down and put it to rest. Sometimes there's a time to pick it up and look at it and do it. But friends, this message is really telling me at the end of the day, if you pick up that sword and do your work, you can put these problems to bed for good. Okay, please do it. You're gonna win, okay? Okay, my friends, what can I help you all with now? I know you all have questions for yourselves. And again, for anybody who hasn't joined me on a live reading, I'm gonna do my best to get to everyone's questions within the time that I can. And sometimes when people come in and out of the room, it kind of puts the um, messages in a different order. So if I miss your question, so sorry. I know that I have missed questions in the past from people and I do my best. So thank you for your understanding as I try to uh, help you guys out, all right? So let me know if you guys have any personal questions. I'm just gonna take a quick look here. And thank you to everyone who joined. All right. Okay. Pomodoro, okay, let's see. You gonna have any luck? You gonna have any luck in the next few days? What about Pomodoro? need luck about what's this about um I don't okay I don't know if uh, for Pomodoro I don't know if you're working on some kind of business deal or if you're working on some sort of partnership or putting bringing people in for resources okay uh, but I feel like you're trying to work on either a new project or a new chapter a new phase of business related type stuff for yourself okay um feels very creative for me as well I feel like okay I don't want to say too much but um okay okay what's gonna happen for Pomodoro 
I'm a doll. What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? I feel like there's some sort of new energy coming to you and I feel like it's people that are you're gonna be working with. Okay, okay, all right, all right. Is this for Pomodoro? Okay. Oh, oh, okay. All right. So, okay. I want to say I feel like you've been a little distracted lately um, with the business stuff, Pomodoro. I feel like you've been a little distracted lately with some of the business things that you've been um, doing and things have been a little bit heavy for you um, as well. Um, you know, talking about the... Um, the shadow work stuff that we were talking about, okay? For you in terms of where you're at right now, just cards that are jumping out, um, 10 of swords in reverse. So you really kind of thought you were putting these things to bed and you'd moved on and all that kind of stuff, okay? But you're having a hard time moving on and really, okay? Um, and I do think that this is mixing with like, um, let's just say either family and family and business or personal life and business for you, okay? Um, and I feel like there was some decisions that needed to be made and you're just having a really, really difficult time trying to, you know, make those decisions there. Okay. It's been really heavy and you're ready to kind of put something down. Okay. Um, and I think that you want to focus on family more as well, you know, cause I have the lovers coming here too. And I do feel it is like either family or, you know, heart related type stuff here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I, did, I really do feel too, and maybe that's why I feel like there's partnerships coming up for you because we're like looking at partnerships and, and all that kind of good stuff there. Okay, good. Um, okay, so if I feel like the key for you is balance, Pomodoro, okay, balance. Okay, we need to balance. We need to put some of this stuff, we got it. We got to make a decision on something and we need to move forward from that decision because um, not, we can't let go of the weights until we make that decision, okay? Make the decision, create more balance in your life and then things are gonna be much happier, okay? Much happier. Okay, what should we do? Any other messages? Yeah, okay, okay. You gotta get moving, okay? You gotta make a decision. We got Knight of Cups and we've got Knight of Pentacles, okay? So at the end of the day, I think that you need to move forward with your heart. And you know, like I said, the business stuff has kind of been, I don't know if you put something on hold or it's not, it hasn't fully developed yet, okay? But at the end of the day, it's moving a little bit slower. And I think that we just need to get bring peace to the situation so you can kind of let go of the extra things you're holding on to because that's what's making you not be able to make a decision. And it's the decision-making stuff that's holding the whole show up, okay? I hope that makes sense for you, Pamela, okay? Hey, friends. Thanks for joining. Hey, Mika. Okay. Um... Okay, so I've got five on it. Thanks for joining. Okay, you wanna know if the woman you saw and talked to was an apparition or residu residual energy in the hotel room? Ooh, okay, cool, cool question. Okay, let's go to the hotel room. I've got five on it was. Let's do some, um, some walking clairvoyance here and just kinda of see what's going on there. Um, yeah. Um, there's like a repeating energy that's going on there because I feel like I'm popping in and popping out and popping in and popping out. And again, you know, looking at the time of year in terms of October, right? The veil is super thin and it's funny, you know, I was at a friend's house just a little while ago. Um, and he was talking about spirit that had been making noise in his room and right around this time last year is the first time he heard this spirit. So again, it's just because it's showing up right now, it's just another validation for me that this is a spirit that is kind of showing up and can pop in and pop out. Um, it may have been your first experience with that spirit, but the reason why is because it was your first experience with that location, okay? Um, is there any messages there that we that we need to know? I just hear the words lots of fun, okay? And I feel like it's this spirit energy that's there um, because you, you know how it is with like some earthbound spirits or even if it's just a, a regular spirit, sometimes they just wanna say hi, just like we do, right? We wanna say hi to people, be personable, right? Sometimes it's just about showing up and saying hi and some spirits like the attention. Right? Think about a little kid. Sometimes little kids do things in order to get attention and then when you notice a parent is looking that they're like, right? 
I did that, right? It's parents like that too. Sometimes they just want to say hello, right? Knock on the door, make someone go, Ooh, what was that? And they're like, <laughs> that was me, right? <laughs> yeah, okay. Another message, okay? Again, validating four swords, right? Guys, it's time to put these burdens down, okay? You've thought about it for long enough. Put it down, put it down. Okay, does that help? I've got five on it, tarot. I really do, th I, I think that, okay, so to answer your question, was it an apparition or residual energy? Um, if you want to classify as apparition, I guess, you know, I mean, to me, apparition depends on how the form in, in which it shows itself. Okay. Um, but the way that I would go back on that even further is like, you know, there's a soul behind the apparition. So at the end of the day, we're talking about soul energy, right? Yeah. That's how I see it anyhow. Okay. All right, friends. Let's see who else has a question. Hi, Brenda. Thanks for coming. Mina, okay, you're gonna pass. Is Mina gonna pass? Is Mina gonna pass her exam? Okay, for some reason my eyes are being drawn to this mountain and strength card that's been sitting there the whole time, okay? But, uh... Okay, this is a hard test. Okay, Mina? Um, and, uh, or exam. I know you said the word exam. I feel like you've been studying like this for a while. Like, I think this is a big deal type of an exam. Um... You have to you have to keep studying. You have to stay on it and you have to circulate back through all of the material to make sure you have it all even, okay? If Mina continues to circulate and continue to study, how will she do? I feel like you're gonna get it. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like I cel I'm celebrating, Mina, okay? So yes, good luck, but I don't think you're gonna need it, okay? Definitely do your work. <laughs> okay all right all right hey Dania okay so a card for Dania all right all right let's go to the shamanic animals for you what about Dania is there a message for Dania right now Ah, uh, yeah, there is. Okay, one just jumped out right into my lap. But I'm also, ooh, two. But I'm also getting um, growth with you, Dania. Um, putting down roots um, and expanding. Um, expanding those roots as well. Hope that makes sense. Okay, is there one other card here for Dania? Another card here for Dania? Let's see. Yeah, okay. Lots of cards. So, first card that jumped out for you. Yep. Yep. Okay. So, my friend, cougar energy showing up for you. You've been holding your ground. You've been standing up for yourself. You've been really kind of making the decisions and not being afraid to speak about what you want and what you don't want. Good for you. Okay. Now, now that you've kind of stood your ground and all that kind of stuff, where you're at right now, fox energy. Right? So, what does that mean? It's kind of like you brought your fire let's just say and you brought your truth and you stood in your truth and now what you're doing is you're just hanging back you're just hanging back to kind of see what do you want to do about that okay i kind of feel like the ball's in someone else's court right now to deal with your decision or what you've had to bring to the table okay moving forward otter energy okay so as as silly or corny as this might sound Otter is super powerful, female, divine, feminine energy and all about happiness and lightness and love. I mean, think about an otter swimming through the water. They're just beautiful and blissful and amazing, okay? So moving forward, the decisions that you've made and everything that's gonna come out of this is gonna create more balance for you, okay? Look at this otter, half in the water, half on land, but more water, right? So it's also been very emotional for you, but you're gonna be finding your feet and you're gonna be getting grounded through this whole process, okay? So my friend, don't be worried. You did the right thing, okay? You did the right thing by speaking in your truth, by standing in your truth, and now chips are gonna fall where the chips fall. Hope that makes sense. Okay, friends. You're welcome, I've got five on it, Tarot. Yes, that makes sense for you? Okay, good stuff. Anybody else have a question? Hmm, hmm, hmm. 
Any personal questions, my friends? Happy to help you out. You can ask personal questions as well. I can be personal with you if you want to be personal with me in terms of that, but I will answer. Can't be afraid of the answer. <laughs> okay. I feel like I'm gonna do something else here. Yeah. Hey, Brenda. Okay, hold on. Yes, all right. Okay, okay, let me see here. Hey, Karubia. I hope I'm saying that right. A Karubia? Children, children. Okay. What do we need to know for a Karubia? What do we have to know? What do we have to know about that? What about having children? What about having children? Karubia. Yeah. Having children. Um, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Here. What do you need to know about having children? What do you need to know about having children? Woo! Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. So, um, I feel like I'm getting some information that is kind of outside where these cards are, and I don't want to get too personal with you in that way, okay? Um... But here's what's interesting, okay? I do feel, I do understand that there's been some fear and that there's been some struggle um, together. There's two different things. The fear and the struggle are together, but they are actually two different things, if that makes sense to you, okay? Um, so let me just, so this is what I've got, okay? And it definitely, poof, just jumped right out of the book. Go forward fearlessly. So listen to this prayer, okay? Thank you for walking with me every step of the way, for holding my hand, giving me confident and courage, confidence and courage, and guiding my thoughts and actions in the direction of love and my true life's purpose. That's nice. Yeah. And I do feel like there's been a little bit of, you know, there has been some decisions, but there's also been like a lot of pressure here too, okay? Um, if we decide to move forward, if we decide to move forward for a croupia, if we decide to move forward, what's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? Wow, these cards are just incredible, friends. It's like I do, it's like they don't even want to work for me today, these ones, okay? Croupia. Wow! <laughs> See, you just knock and poo! They just fire out waterfall and effortless okay so i don't feel that this journey has been effortless for you okay however what this is telling me is there's been a lot of let's just say um emotional struggle and mental struggle in terms of moving forward in this okay and sometimes when you think about something too much it can really block you from where you want to go um you kind of have a lot of mental dialogue about ooh, what if we do this and then if we do this and but what if this happens and what if this happens and then okay so i think that the message for you with this is concerned is we just have to move forward but we can't control the situation too much, okay? We can't make it like this or make it like this or, okay? So I think we just kind of have to take the pressure off of ourselves and the situation around you and just kind of not try to make anything happen. And I think things are gonna naturally happen a little bit easier for you, okay? I hope that makes sense. Okay. Hey, Brenda. Okay. Nothing specific, but you want some clarity. Okay, for Brenda. What messages does Brenda need to hear right now? Okay. Let's have some guidance for Brenda, please. Brenda Stellar Art. Brenda's, wow, that's too much. <laughs> Brenda Stellar, Brenda Stellar Art. What does she need to know? How can we help balance her right now? How can we help balance Brenda? Okay, so what I think you really need to do at this point, dog medicine coming up, okay? It's time to really take care of yourself and spend time with family and 
really try to nurture yourself, okay? Because if you think about a dog, even though they're, you know, they're, they're like the in-between between man and wild, right? They're man's best friend, but they're also the closest relative to the wolf and all of that, right? So it's really a nice blended combination of loyalty and protection and happiness and family bonding and safety in that kind of way, all right? So that's where I think that you can get a lot of balance right now, okay? Focus on being at home, focus on being with family, focus on making things light and easy, all right? I hope that makes sense, Brenda. That's what you need. Okay, let me see who else is here that needs a question. Oops. Okay. Hey, JC. Thanks for coming. Okay, are you gonna be moving or staying in your home? Pomodoro, are you gonna be moving or staying in your home? Uh, I think you're gonna be going. Okay. Um, in fact, some of these wheels have already been started. Okay, someone just showed me a picture of an egg and the egg being cracked. Okay, um, but yeah, I think that some of the wheels are already in motion here, or at least like, let's just say the writing is on the wall. Okay, where you're concerned. Okay, so let me, okay, good, good. Okay, yep, go ahead. All right, okay. Can we validate the move, please? And the egg cracking, what I think that means. Can we have a validation, please? Yeah, okay. You're gonna have to move forward, okay? Moving forward with new ventures, moving forward with new physical type things, okay? New house, new home, new opportunities. You're gonna walk through a new gate, my friend, but don't be afraid, everything's gonna be beautiful. Look at this. Wow, and I don't know if you heard this because everything in a reading counts. I have music going on in the background and there's only like one sentence that speaks in this whole piece of music and it says best seat in the house, okay? And that's exactly what was said when I started talking about going through this fearlessly and how lush and beautiful this is, okay? Best seat in the house, my friend. I think you're gonna be moving forward but it's gonna work out for you. It's gonna be good. Maybe it doesn't feel like it right now but it's gonna work out for you, okay? Hope that makes sense. A Carubia, it made, made sense? Okay, good stuff. All right. Hey, Ginger Hunk. Hey, JC. Ooh, are you gonna move? JC, okay, let's see. Ottawa, move to another city for you. Ooh, that's exciting. Okay. I think, I think you're moving. I think you're moving. Um, yeah. You're moving, JC. Okay. Okay. Um, and I don't know a lot about all of this, okay, but I feel like part of the decision where you are concerned is about being uprooted, okay? I'm getting pictures in my head that's making me feel that this is a kind of a heavy decision for you and your entire family. And the reason why it's like that for you and your entire family is because I think that either your kids have been in the same place since they were born or your or you're like your family has been in this one town or this one place for some time. And I feel like you know, if we were looking at, you know, one decision at one way, it's like pretty easy. But when you factor how else is my family going to feel about this, I think that's where it kind of uh, makes things more complicated for you, okay? Um, that's what I'm picking up just by asking for that information here. I'm just going to light some more sage. Love my sage, right? Okay, let's keep going for JC. Um, thinking about a move. Thinking about a move. Whoa, that's way too much. Okay, JC, thinking about a move. Ottawa or elsewhere? Ottawa or elsewhere? Ottawa or elsewhere? It's not, no, you're going elsewhere. You're going elsewhere. Can we validate this? What does JC need to know to move forward with this and feel good? Wow, okay. So it's happening, friend. Okay, so already I think if some, okay, don't take this the wrong way. It's not a bad message, but at the end of the day, you've got the tower card. Something's gonna, there's gonna be some sort of dramatic event that happens and that you're gonna be like, okay, this is what's gonna happen. Whether or not it's already happened and that's why you're considering a move, not sure, okay? But at the end of the day, if it's coming up, it's coming up, okay? But don't be worried about that. The message isn't, oh no, something bad's gonna happen. The message is at the end of the day, 
just keep your head up, keep your chin up, okay? Because something is gonna just make you a little upset. But if you're already with this move piece, and I do think it's connected in that way, okay? It just means you're moving on to brighter skies, okay? But I am seeing this move, okay? What else can you validate for JC in the move? Yep. Wow. Is this all for us? No, I don't wanna do that. JC, give me a little bit more for JC. A little bit more for JC. Okay. Yep. Okay. So definitely Knight of Swords. Okay. Moving forward. But like you're really deciding right now what is best for everyone in the big picture and what isn't. Okay. And I feel like these decisions are going to be made fast for you. Okay. And part of this tower moment also makes me feel like it's really easy to make the decision because of this kind of dramatic stuff that's happened. It's like this part's easy and this part's easy and this part's easy. Now what am I gonna do with this part? Now it's just figuring out how we're gonna move forward, okay? But you're ready to move forward, okay? So we move forward. What's it gonna look like? If we move forward for JC, what's that gonna look like? Wow, yes. Okay, good. Two of Cups. Partnerships. Whoa, did you see that? <laughs> Partnerships, loving connections. Okay, beautiful. Everybody being treated fairly, lovely. Yeah, okay, and another card that jumped out that went pew like that. Two of Pentacles, okay? So as you move forward out of the cycle and we're gonna be putting down new roots, okay? You're gonna feel like you're juggling a lot of stuff. You're gonna have to look at money stuff carefully because some will be in this boat, some will be in that boat, all that kind of stuff. But the juggling period is going to be temporary because after that, things are gonna be good, my friend. Two of Cups, everything's gonna settle down. You're gonna feel good. You're gonna get the balance and your partnership is gonna be more balanced as well, okay? Because through this whole thing, if it is about moving family, like I I feel then this partnership is that base okay so we're gonna get balance back to everything there I hope that makes sense for you my friend JC okay hey Joanna thank you for coming thank you Akrubi I'm glad that made sense for you hey Ricky Sandy okay you want a card all right all right how about Ricky Ricky Sandy or Sandy um, okay, I feel like there's some household stuff going on for you that uh, that needs to be sorted out here. Um, there's some balance stuff with other family members in the immediate household for you or people who were just in the immediate household. I don't know if people are going to be moving back in or someone's moving out here. Um, yeah, okay. What do we need to know? What do we need to know about moving forward with the household? I hope that makes sense. Okay, because I'm just going with it, with what I pick up, okay? That's what I do past. Okay, yeah. Okay, so you know how I talked about people either moving in or moving out and stuff like that? And there's kind of like a lot going on there in the, in the home. Rain and purification. There's some toxic stuff that needs to be sorted out and let go, okay? Especially with the rain and the water element coming up. This is an emotional thing as well, okay? So we can't hold on to these emotional hurts and move forward, okay? It's pretty dark in this card, okay? But that's okay. If we move forward from this, we can get to the full moon. New chapter, okay? And you get to decide what that chapter looks like. You are in full control here, okay? Is there anything getting in the way of us purifying our, ooh, okay. Yep. Yeah, it's just too emotional. There's too many emotional ups and downs right now, okay? So everyone, and some, not everybody in the household in terms of whatever these issues are, not everybody is actually looking at them as something that needs to be solved. Some people are putting like a blind mask on and being like, oh no, everything's fine, everything's fine. But they're kind of stuffing stuff down there. Some people are really looking on the bright side of things, but the emotional ups and downs are on a constant here, okay? So that's why it's hard to get rid of these problems because we don't stop sitting in our own upset about it, okay? All right, stone people in vigilance. So this card has jumped out for you as well. And what this really means for me with regards to settling this issue for you is 
you already have the wisdom and the knowledge that tells you what the right thing is to do here, okay? Sometimes we make a lot of excuses for people. Now, whether it's this way or whether it's that way, sometimes we can make excuses for people to allow themselves to be blindfolded to a situation. Sometimes we make excuses to just kind of move forward with it because if it's too much of a struggle, okay? But this is telling me with these stone people and vigilance, okay? The wisdom of these stones, the environment changes around the stones, but they stay constant right? So as the wind has changed, as the water has changed, things have rolled by, you have maintained and watched the whole scene. So you know what's going on, okay? So you can't be afraid to put your foot down and make the decisions that need to be made because you're the one that's seen the scene play out the whole time, okay? You already know what the right thing is to do, my friend. Sometimes it's hard doing it though because everyone gets upset. But the other side of that coin is if you don't deal with it, everybody remains upset and nobody moves forward okay sometimes we got to go in to get out right i hope that makes sense okay all right so brenda that made sense for you awesome thank you okay let's see if there's any other questions okay yeah nina nina what else for nina i don't know if you can hear my wind chimes going in the back so awesome. Ooh, yeah, that's for me now. So you're an empath, Mina. So you, you clearly, clearly are an empath because I feel it anyways, but empathic ability is either feeling emotions from other people, feeling physical ailments at times from people, feeling thought processes, you know, sometimes people um, connect it with telepathy, okay? Um, but definitely you feel other people's emotions. You might get upset when you're watching TV, you know, with scary movies and, you know, news type stuff makes you easily affected, okay? Emotional sensitivity. Now, but this is an interesting message, okay? Honor and respect your deep sensitivity as it's a gift to us all. So what this means for me, for you in particular, is before when you've kind of looked at yourself and your emotions of, you know, I'm getting too upset, I may take it personal, and people have probably told you, oh, you take it too personal, okay? Um, no, actually, I think what it means for you at this point is it's time for you to start looking at those emotional senses that you have and using them in your best good. Okay? If you have any questions about that, just give me a shout. I'll help you out, of course. <laughs> okay, friends. All right. Hey, Peter. Thanks for joining. Okay. Anything about your son's music career? Peter's son. Um, he's in a cycle, okay? Um... Yeah, he's in some sort of cycle that things kind of get better and then it kind of drops off and then it gets better and then it drops off again. Okay, um, Peter's son. What's going on with Peter's son in the music career? All right. Is it this way? Okay. I think it's like this. All right, let me do this. What goes first? 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 Put them in the right order. What goes first? What goes first? All right, good. Okay, so three cards for your son, Peter. Okay, right now there has been a struggle Okay, and there hasn't been, like I said, not a lot of movement. We've had movement in the past and it dies off, okay? The hanged man. This is making me feel like he's haven't been able to really move the needle in a lot of ways, but there have been things that he hasn't been doing. He hasn't really been feeding as much energy into it in the past as he has been doing in the last little while. And that's where I feel like we're really gonna make the difference, okay? Because there's enlightenment happening here, okay? I feel like he's gonna be moving forward into areas that he hasn't been moving forward in before, okay? 
with the seven of cups too okay there's some new offers and information that's going to be coming to him and we don't understand all of it right now okay but i don't think now is the time to jump and make any quick decisions i think now is the time to really wait and see and make sure we understand all that is coming to us so that we make an informed decision and not just a decision made on like our heart and our instincts of really wanting something but really what is the best thing for us okay now if we are calm and we take it easy and we don't jump at the you know the first things that come our way we get empress energy okay so empress energy is really strong i mean yes it's divine female type energy but it's all about like birth and renewal and things being fertile and being like in control and stuff like that so that makes sense to me in terms of moving forward in a positive way there because it's all about you know um rejuvenation and creation okay creation is definitely empress energy so that could be super cool okay yeah there might be some partnerships coming up as well you know collaborating with other people in order to make that happen okay we've got three there okay hope that makes sense and good luck hey cheryl um it's hard to do mediumship really quick like this i'll do my best is there a message for cheryl Okay, I'm connecting to somebody who had some sort of cough or a throat ailment, and um, um, I don't know if there was actual breathing problems, but I also feel like there's fuzziness in the head, so I don't know if there was um, a stroke or if this person was in a coma or had a difficult time like communicating here. I'm getting it, the communication here, and I'm getting head stuff here. Um, I hear the words too much. Um... Um, I think this person may have also been self-medicating in some ways, okay? I'm getting sparkles and stuff going on in here. Um, okay, this is really weird. Um, I don't know if this person was a fan of Queen, okay? You know, the band Queen? Because I'm hearing, I hear Bicycle, and I'm hearing that song Bicycle um, by Queen, okay? So I don't know if that person liked that song, or if you did, or if you guys have a Bicycle connection or a Queen connection, Okay, um, but that's showing up for me as well. Um, I feel like someone just kind of gave me a fist bump, but I feel like there's also a bracelet connection here too, okay? Um, I feel like the message from this person says, I got you. And I feel like this is also something that you guys kind of said. All right, I think that's a validation of either what you guys were saying, but also representing your friendship, okay? Hope that made sense. Okay. Um, Cheryl, I don't know if there was some sort of accident involved here in the passing too, um, and maybe this is why I'm getting this piece on my head too okay i don't and i know and i know that there's like self-medication here in some kind of way i don't know if that led to an accident and hitting head and that kind of stuff okay but that's just something else that came to me as well okay um okay jc i'm glad that made sense awesome you're so welcome hey courtney you're welcome ricky okay hey scorpion okay yeah, let's do something for you, my friend. I'm sorry, I know I missed your messages before in the last readings and I apologize. It gets really difficult sometimes when people come in and out and in and out. So, so sorry about that, okay? Thank you for being patient and thank you for coming back, okay? Let's do this really quick because I just got the message that it's only two more minutes. Wow, where does the hour go, man? Okay, yeah. Um, Scorpion with Libra scales. Whoa. Too much. Scorpion with Libra scales. What are our divine messages that we need to know in our best good? What does the divine need him to know right now? Scorpion with Libra scales. Yeah. Big time. Tree. Grounding. You're on the ascension train, my friend. You got to get our feet on the ground. And trust me, it is hard right now with all these energies and all these light codes coming at us fast, fast, okay? But you really got to 
hold it down. Okay, you gotta hold down the fort. <laughs> um, also, some messages here coming forward for you. I'm not sure if there's gonna be relationship changes for you too, okay? I feel like there's a strong message here coming forward of being independent, all right? Definitely for you and making decisions around independence and what that's supposed to look like, okay? Um, new boundaries and uh, stuff like that. Um, dragonfly and emergence. So dragonfly definitely bringing light into the darkness for you, okay? And more lotus flowers messages. Okay, it's been a long journey, but you're doing it, my friend. Okay, you're doing it. You're going to bloom with these lotuses at the end of the journey. Keep going. Don't forget to keep pushing. Transformation is the name of your game here, okay? It's going to happen. And if you do it, right, if you do the grounding, if you do the transformation, because it's happening, my friend, it's definitely happening. Summer solstice and radiance. You're going to bring that inner flame, that inner you know, sun and that beautiful radiance and connective type energy, right? You're going to be able to move forward in happiness and shed all that stuff. It's there. It's there, friends. So the best thing you can do now is keep yourself grounded. You got this. Thank you, friends, for joining me so much. Have a beautiful night. Namaste.